Our mission is to preserve and protect sea turtles here on the Outer Banks, and we cover the beach from South Nags Head to the Virginia Line. My name is Tony Parisi. I'm the president of NEST, the Network for Endangered Sea Turtles. All of the sea turtles that nest here are listed under the Endangered Species Act. Some are threatened in this area, some are endangered or critically endangered. Our, our job, along with the other organizations like us in North Carolina and the other states to the south, is to try to increase the population of sea turtles to take them off the endangered species list. We're at the northern end of the sea turtle nesting area, and the majority of the sea turtles that nest here are loggerhead sea turtles. We always get a few green sea turtles and uh, get uh, a couple, one or two Kemp's Ridley sea turtles during the season. In our area, the sea turtles nest from about mid-May to the end of August. We may get a few nests in September, but that, that, you know, not very many. They nest at night, so they'll come ashore, lay their eggs, and then, and then leave. Every morning, from about the middle of May until the end of August, we have ATV patrols and look for what's called the crawl, the marks that a mama sea turtle makes when she comes ashore. Once a, an ATV driver finds a crawl, they call the hotline. The hotline puts out a call to train volunteers to go to the nest. So we verify that there are eggs and put in temperature data loggers. That enables us to monitor the temperature and it helps us predict when the hatchlings are going to emerge. And when it comes time to hatch, people go out at sunset because most of the time they occur you know, at sunset or later and keep an eye on it, make sure the hatchlings get to the ocean. There are several things that the public can do to help sea turtles. One is lighting. When a mama sea turtle comes ashore, if there are a lot of lights on the beach, could scare her to turn around and go somewhere else to lay her eggs. When the hatchlings emerge, they're attracted to the white surf and bright lights behind them and houses on the, on the ocean front could get them and has affected the hatchlings where they turn around instead of heading to the ocean, headed either towards the dune or at least away from the ocean. I'm Kelly Wyatt and I'm the planning director with the town of Naxhead. We live in a very vulnerable environment, and as the town, we want to set the example and be good stewards, safeguarding our natural resources and our coastal ecosystem. This is an area where we have sea turtles nesting often, so we want to make sure we're doing everything we can to protect them and their habitat. In 2022, the town and Dominion Energy collaborated to place LED amber colored turtle friendly lights at several of our beach accesses. They placed two fixtures at various beach accesses throughout the town. Once those were installed, we asked town staff or town board members as well as members of NEST to go visit those beach accesses at night and then give us their feedback and let us know what their preference was in terms of the lighting that they thought would be most desirable. So once we had that feedback, we provided that to Dominion. And so now when these high intensity discharge lights at our beach accesses go out, Dominion will actually replace them with the turtle friendly lights that we selected. We have a website, it's, it's nestonline.org. We have information there, what we do, where the nests are by town. And, and then there, are, there is other information, uh, like some of the scientific uh, issues that we deal with. 
the, the one thing I would like to leave people with is leave the, leave the beach clean, dark, and flat when you, when you leave.